Okay, so I've, I've just been and collected um, a parcel that I've received from Freddy Duarte. Um, he's a really, really nice guy and I do recommend that you um, guys follow his videos. Um, he's got some awesome kits. Um, he's working on a Black Widow at the moment and seems to be doing a, a really, really good job. Right, so I don't... 100% really know what's in this box. Um, I do know he was sending me um, a couple of kits, but I'm not 100% sure which ones. Um, yeah, so that's that's good. Um, a nice surprise. So I'm going to cut into the box now. And at this point, before I even know what kits are in here, I'm going to say to Freddie, thank you so much. It's really, really nice of you, and I really do appreciate it. Um, you're a, a legend of a guy. Um, and people like Lenny of Sam Modeling, I think it is now, or Sam. Um, it wasn't exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, Model Pro 72, he will know exactly what I'm talking about. Freddy is an absolute diamond geezer. Um, uh, let's hope this... There we go. Any children out there? Don't use a knife like I just did. Um, I'm an idiot. You're not. Get your parents to open packages for you. I'll start with this. I got a nice letter from Freddie um, saying, um, here is your Tamiya F16. Um, that, yeah, I, I, I feel so privileged to get something like a Tamiya F16. I know that they're a really, really good kit. And certainly from the photos that Freddie showed me. Um, it's supremely detailed I haven't seen it yet um, but yeah thank you Freddie thank you so much um, you're an absolute diamond geezer and I don't think anyone can take that away from you I don't know if you've read this already <laughs> I seem to have held the camera on it but yeah here's the S, the Tamiya F16 I said I would send you and I hope you don't mind if I threw in a few more kits as well well I don't mind but my god you've gone over the top you've sent me masses of kits um, they're certainly going to keep me busy for a little while and they're very very much appreciated um, one ME109 was already started but all the parts are there to finish it. I'm certain of it. Sorry I took so long to send you this, but I was laid up in hospital for five days. For those of you who don't know, Freddie suffered um, a staph infection um, to, um, or in his chin. Um, and he certainly was very ill. And yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're, that you're back on your feet and feeling better now that's that's really good um, if I hadn't went I wouldn't be writing this to you now that's that's probably very likely um, I hope this kit gets to you and or I hope this gets to you and gets to you well I think cheers um, sorry for bagging them up kind of save space yeah you needed to save space didn't you Freddy, duh. Um, yeah. So uh, there's the the started 109. And he said to me, "Oh, there's a there's one that I started and it's a bit shit." From what I can see, it looks superb. Um, I think this is a hobby boss kit. And I think there's actually another one in... Yeah, there's another... Another one in there. Um, possibly another Hobby Go Boss. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, but excellent. Thank you. That's, that's very much...
appreciated. Um, what else have we got? Um, another 109. Um, this one's an, another hobby craft from the Russian front. What was this first one? Uh, don't know. One, both in 148 scale. Um, another hobby craft. 109 G1. Um, this one's from the African front, so a trop tropic version. Um, looks fantastic. Um, oh, oh, yeah, excellent. <laughs> a little um, vampire. FB5 um, This or the, the T11 I think it was um, was the aircraft that first wanted me to be a pilot, that never happened but it got me into aircraft and, and things, we went to a little museum and there was um, the training variant outside in the car park and you were able to go and sit in the cockpit and things and yeah, that, that's what got me into aircraft to begin with. I would have been about, I don't know, seven, maybe. But yeah, that aircraft means a lot to me. So, um, And believe it or not, there's another kit in here. Oh. This, of World War II aircraft, is probably one of my favourite. The Hellcat. Grumman F6 um, F3 um, Hellcat um, an AR ARII or AR2 um, kit I've not actually heard of them but being Japanese I imagine the mouldings are superb um, and they certainly look it. Um, you can't really see through the bag, but the camera. But yeah, they look fantastic. And then the um, creme de la creme was mentioned in the um, letter. Tamiya F16. I feel really, really privileged to get my hands on one of those because. Details. Awesome. Uh, under the plastic. Oh, look at that engine detail. This, see, this is what Tamiya is. This is what Tamiya is. That's an awesome level of detail. What's that? Just sat there. <laughs> Look at that. I really, really, really can't wait to start building this one. Oh. The F sixteen is such a stunning aircraft. It's, it's so um, sleek and aggressive looking. I'm not going to actually open up the transfers at this stage. Um, but yeah. Oh, and some box art. Some, ah, the boxes for the 109s. Um, so this will be the Tropic one. <laughs> I'm loving the umbrella shading the 109. I guess it's a solution. 
Um, but yeah, it kind of looks like a beach party. Yeah, that's cool. That um, camouflage scheme is going to be fun to try and do. But yeah, that's going to be good. And then the Russian front. And they're obviously peeling off into an attack um, in that picture. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, God. Yeah. Thank you, 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 Freddy. Um, your kindness is overwhelming. Thank you. I'm going to cut it short there because um, I think my phone's about to run out of battery. But, uh, yeah. Thanks, Freddy. Even my cat says thanks.